India is facing a big challenge. On one hand, we need to ensure energy security, and on the other, we have to fight climate change. And we rely heavily on energy imports. About 80% of our oil, 50% of our gas, and 25% of our coal needs comes from other countries. Now, this reliance not only costs us a lot, but also possess a risk to our energy security. Plus, using these energy sources like coal, oil, contributes significantly to carbon emissions. Just to give you an idea, in 2021, India was the third largest emitter of carbon dioxide globally. So what are we doing about this? Now, we're focusing on renewable energy. India is significantly expanding its capacity in wind, solar, hydro and biofuels. Now, over the past decade, we've also seen a massive shift. Now, back in fiscal year 14, renewable energy made up only about 13% of our energy mix. Now, fast forward to November 2023, and this number has jumped to 42%. Now, that's a huge shift towards cleaner energy. In fact, our renewable energy capacity has grown by over 100 gigawatts in the last decade, reaching 190 gigawatt by fiscal year 24. And the government's not stopping there. The plan is to increase it to 500 gigawatt by 2030. When we talk about non-fossil fuel energy sources in India, we're looking at solar, wind, hydro, etc. And it's solar that's leading the pack. According to market research from Mercom India, nearly 15 gigawatts of solar PV capacity was added in just the first half of 2024. Now that's a massive 282% increase from the first half of 2023. Now, even though there was a slight dip in quarter two of 2024, it still marked the second highest number of PV additions this decade. Now, right now, solar PV makes up about 19.5% of all power capacity installations and over 44% of all installed renewable energy capacity. Now, clearly, the growth and opportunity in the renewable energy space, especially in solar, is immense. Now, coming to solar energy companies, these companies are involved in harnessing the sun's power to generate electricity, whether by manufacturing solar panels, providing solar power solutions, or handling the installation and maintenance of solar power systems. Now, in India, several companies are making significant strides in the sector. Now, take Wari Renewable Tech, for example. They're primarily involved in manufacturing solar PV modules. Now, the company's stock has seen exponential growth shooting up by more than 50,000 over five years, showing strong investor confidence and high market expectations. Now, most stocks in the solar space, as seen on your screen, have also given multi-bagger returns. Now, if you're an informed investor, you would know that valuation remains a crucial point here. Sometimes when stock prices run up this fast, they can reach valuation levels that aren't always supported by the company's fundamentals. So anyone interested in the solar space should keep this in mind. Now, it's no secret that the renewable energy sector is on a growth trajectory. Factors like decarbonization, concerns over energy security, falling costs have driven global renewable energy capacity additions. Now, this has been a strong theme, especially with governments to support, and this story isn't going away anytime soon. But it's also important to remember that fluctuations can occur. Factors like changes in raw material costs, regulatory shifts, market competition can impact earnings. And most importantly, with many of these stocks seeing a significant run-up in prices, keeping an eye on valuations is crucial. We need to ensure that these stocks remain attractive investments based on their financial health and market prospects. Now, understanding the bigger picture and these finer details will help us make more informed decisions in the renewable energy space. Having said that, this is me, Merlin, signing off. Take care and stay invested. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.